Dragon Pie and a Ninja. We've got boneless rolled lamb breast, carrot, potato, some cheese. Seasoning for the Dragon Pie. Garlic, white pepper, bay leaves, table salt, mustard, sriracha, and some gravy salt. Potatoes to make mash, carrots to go on the pie, carrots to go on the side of the plate. And I'm also going to have some sweet old cabbage on the side. Nearly forgot the minted sauce for the gravy. Potatoes on the boil, carrot, cabbage on the boil. Cool I'm going to put a splash of oil in there. We're going to saute the outside or cook it on saute just to get a little bit of brown on it before we roast it. That's the lamb sufficiently brown. Lift it up on the rack there. I'm now going to bake it on the bake setting. So we'll... 170. We'll get that for 20 minutes and we'll see how it goes from there. So this carrot and the cabbage cooked. I strained them from the water. I'm keeping this because I'm going to use it to form the gravy for the uh, for the base of the pie. So I'll pop the water off the, the vegetables back in the pan. First of all, I'm going to add the carrot. Next in, some gravy salt, two bay leaves, white pepper, garlic. Mustard, and now the sriracha. Take a little salt, pepper, and butter, and mash together. So we've reduced that right down, making for that kind of consistency before we put it in with the lamb and shred the lamb into it. And remove the bay leaves. The lamb roasted off, you know those roasted lamb, it's in the liquid and I'm going to slow cook that until the meat is nice and tender. That's lamb cooked down now, I'm going to shred it up into the gravy and then let it cool. That's the lamb, the filling finished. Um, just going to let that cool down before it's put into a, uh, the pot and the potato added and the cheese. Delicious. That's the pie in its glass dish ready to go in the oven. I'll let the um, <coughs> mixture cool in the fridge. Flash potato, put cheese on top. That's what left there, so we'll make another pie and I'm actually going to freeze it. Two pies ready for the potato and then they're going to be frozen. There it is, finished dragon pie. Cooked, ready to eat. Two ready to go in the freezer.